Hello Aces and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to build the Bombardier 604 Challenger. This is a Canadian made jet and it's basically its role is a, bus as a private jet, like a business jet. And it's also used by the RCAF. It's also used by a couple other militaries. I believe the US military uses it as well, like for some uh, to transport government officials or whatever, or like top military ranks or so. But uh, this is also the plane that laid the basis to the Bombardier, but now Mitsubishi CRJs. Those uh, group of regional aircraft. It also was the basis to the Bombardier Global Express jets. And this plane is quite successful. First flying in 1978, and it's still in production and flying today. So this is a very easy build. It's not very difficult at all. You shouldn't have any problems building it. Now, unfortunately, uh, there is no interior for this aircraft, so you're going to have to make up your own interior. I am planning to make it one day. I just never got around to making it. So, Because I know from my other plane tutorials, I have made the interior and I showed you around. So, But uh, this one, you won't get an interior. But it, you can make your... Yeah, you can obviously make your own interiors and everything. But if you just want to see the room inside really quickly. So here's your cockpit. You get a quite a spacious cockpit. And then you get quite a nice cabin interior. Obviously, I would recommend putting a, a wall here. But uh, we'll, we'll, I'll go over it at the end of some uh, interior ideas of what you can do. So anyways, um, this will be a layer by layer tutorial, which is basically just building up. It's the easiest way to do tutorials, especially t stuff like this. Now, normally when I build commercial airliners, I usually build the entire fuselage first and then put the wings on after. But because the wings on this plane are really simple, we're just going to build them as, um, actually for the first layer, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And because uh, they're really, really easy. And yeah, you shouldn't have a hard time completing them. So anyways, going to layer number one, this is what that looks like. And then this is number two, three four, five, and there's six layers to this. So, if you want to build this plane, I'm going to tell you the materials you'll be needing, which you will be needing black wool, buttons, white wool, quartz slab, black stained glass, glass, iron bars, block of coal, block of iron. You'll also be needing a door and a cobblestone wall. So now we'll go over the dimensions of the build. Okay, so for going over dimensions of the aircraft, it is a 2 to 1 scale, like all my other builds are. It is 45 meters long, but that's actually from the tip of the nose all the way to these tail, the edge of the tail wings right here. So kind of the fuselage itself is not 45, but that's till the end of the tail. And this is uh, pretty funny that it's actually 45 meters wide. So it's basically the sa the the width that the whole plane is is exactly the s equals to the length of the plane. So I found that quite funny when I was counting it. And it is 12 and a half meters high. Now that is due to these extra slabs at the top. So let's go over here and let's get started. All right, to get started, you are going to place your black block right here you're going to have a cobblestone wall which I forgot to grab so you're going to grab a cobblestone wall and then you're going to put another black block here you're going to have buttons on the side of that and you're going to go one two three you're going to add three in total then coming from right here so you're going to put one block on on attached to this cobblestone wall you're going to go one two three four and then on the back, you are going to go 27 in total. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And then you are going to leave a two block gap. You're going to have a block here. And then you're going to place another two block gap here. And then on the very front, you're going to leave a two block gap here. And then you're going to have a three. You're going to have a three block gap. And then this is going to attach right in with the back piece. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you're going to leave a two block gap. Actually, this will be a three. Yeah, this will be a three here. 
and then you are just going to come up by one and this is going to go all the way down right up to here and then just the two on the back and then all you're just going to do is fill it in and then we'll go place some slabs and then we'll uh, uh, do the wings so fill the rest of that in we'll get to the slab work and then we'll put in the wings and then we can move on to the building up the fuselage okay so for the slabs you're gonna co you're gonna come right to the front of the plane you're gonna place a slab here here and here and then you're gonna skip one and you're gonna put a slab there this is going to go all the way down until it's one short of the back. So right here, you have one, 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 and then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to skip one and then have your slabs going all the way down until it's one short of the front and then just slabs in there. So there we go. So there is the bottom of the fuselage. So now we're going to build the wings. Okay, so for the wing, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build one wing. This will just cut down on video time. And because I'm also going to be explaining the same thing two times. So I don't really want to do that. So I'm doing something similar to what I did with the Beechcraft. So, but the wing is extremely easy. And as you can see with this layer here where the wing is, it's super flat right now. So you'll be able to just, whatever you do, like let's say you, know, you do this wing. You can literally just look at this and mirror it on the other side. So it's extremely easy. So I'm going to choose the right side of the plane right here because I don't know if I'm going to hit this. Probably not, but I'm choosing this side. So you're going to grab your quartz slabs and you're going to go one, two, three, and four. And then right here you're going to have a, a slab. This is going to go ten. So counting this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're going to skip one. I'm going to go one, two, three. And you're going to have five sets of three. So you're going to have, that's your first set. Number two, three, four, five. And then you're going to have a two. And then you're going to have a one. This is going to go three. And then you're going to have another one. And then two, two. And then basically two is going all the way down until you reach the very end. So just like that, and there should be one slab exposed right here. So there's no other slab here. It, sh it should just be, so basically you have it as one slab sticking out, one slab sticking out the other side. So fill this all in, and then we are going to do the uh, rear landing gear right here. Then we're gonna put in these, um, these uh, things, which are basically to control the flaps. And then we'll uh, put the winglet in, and that will finish the wings, and then we'll move on to the rest of the fuselage. So, yeah, so just basically what, actually what I would do right now is, before you fill this in, copy this shape to the other side, and then fill them both in at the same time. So then, it'll just make it a little easier for you to count the, the slabs. So do that, and then we'll get to the next part. Okay, so this is what you should have, but obviously for you, you should have two wings. So you, your layer sh right now should look like this right here. Now, if you did have a little bit of trouble on completing the wings, like let's say I went a little too fast or whatever, just rewatch the part and just copy it on to the other side. But now what we're going to do is we are going to do the landing gear. And the way to find that is you are going to come right to the back of the wing. Where you got this um, slab coming out, you're going to go in by two, so on the third slab here. And it's going to be one, two, three, and then I think on the fourth one. Let me just double check on this one. Yes, it's on the fourth one. And you're going to, yeah, you're going to place a slab here. Then you're going to grab your cobblestone wall. This is going to go all the way down to the ground, and then you're going to have one back you're going to have two black blocks. And I also forgot, you. I did forget to mention you will be needing a quartz stair for this part because you are just going to have an upside down quartz stair just like that. This is for the gear covers. So now what we're going to do is the next part for the wings is we're going to put in these little things here. I just got to measure them out where they go, which actually they're pretty easy because they just go on the first of every 
of every of the three. So, but we'll do that because I gotta count how long they are and everything, and then we'll just put in the winglet. Okay, so for the little bits under the wings. Now, I actually don't know what they're actually called, what these things right here are called. All I know is that they control the flaps when you set flaps to landing or takeoff or whatever. They kind of control that, but I don't I don't actually know what its its specific name is. So, but anyways, to find it, you are just going to come right on this set of 3 here, and you're going to put a slab s you're going to put you're going to count in 1, 2, three and then four so you're gonna put it right here so it should just be one past where you put the landing gear you're gonna have it's gonna be five in total so one two three four and five so it should come out by one the second one is on right on this on the first set of the three so once again you're gonna go one two three four and then you're gonna have a five so that it should be this should basically be like one like so this should be one out this is going to be one out from the next one and then one out from the next one. But they're all going to come out the same. So then this one, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and then five. And on the last one, you're going to go one, two, three, four, and five. So this is what you sh this is what it should look like. So this is it from the outside. And then from the inside, this is what it should look like. So it should basically almost make the step pattern going down. So when you look at it like this, you can see one, 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 one. So hopefully that's uh, well enough to explain. Now we're just finished up the wings with the winglets. Okay, so for the winglets, this part's really easy. You're just gonna come right to where you got the your wing tips and you're gonna have an L-shaped pattern. So you're gonna have two and then a one on top. You're gonna have a one slab here and then two stairs just like that and that finishes your wings so now we will get to the rest of the fuselage okay so I have went ahead and did the other wing I've built it already just to kind of make this look more completed so this is what you should have right now with your winglets all on and everything. So now we will start by building the next part of the fuselage, which you are going to come right to the front and you are going to have a one and then you're going to come back by two and then one, two, three and then this is going to go all the way back until it's three blocks overhanging the slab. So one, two, three and then you're just going to have a two and then a two and then another two at the back and if I just look at what I have over here and that is correct and they're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you're going to have your two, three, and then this is going to go all the way down until it's one, two, three over. And then you're going to have two, and then a two, which should just connect in right here. And then for these little gaps, you're just going to fill them in, just like that. So now we will just put on some of the slabs on this layer, which there's no slabs on the front but there is some slabs at the back so you just there's just a slab in here here and I don't know if there's there's not one is there one at the end yeah there is there's a slab here here yes yeah, so pretty much all on the back there's slabs I will be double checking this and let you guys know if it's good if it's correct or not but uh, so yeah that's the the next part of the fuselage done so now we will the next the next uh, layer that we're actually building is right here, which has the windows, the the passenger windows. Okay, so for the next part of the fuselage, you are going to come to the front of the plane. You're going to place a one slab here. You're going to grab your white wool, and you're going to go one, two, three, four, and then you're just going to fill up two here. This is going to come out by one more like that. This is going to go down by two, and then you're going to place a block here. And then this is going to go all the way down, but instead of a three overhang, this time it's only a two overhang. So from this slab here, one, two, and then it's going to be a two, and then a, a two again. And if I just double check to make sure, yeah, it's a two, and then you're just going to have a one on the back. So same thing for the other side. So remember what you did here, you're just going to drag this all the way down until it's two over so basically it should line up perfectly with this slab and then you go two 
and then a two. And then in terms of slabs, you're only going to have one, two slabs in here, one and two slabs in there. So now what we'll do is we're going to put the, uh, if, we, if we just go back over here, I'll just show you what we're going to do next. We're at this layer right here. So we're going to fill in the cockpit floor. And I'll put these walls in as well. This kind of divides your cockpit from the cabin. We're going to put the door in and then your windows. And we will also be placing the engines inside as well. And we'll, we might as well just uh, fully complete the engines because they will be pretty easy. Yeah, because this is where they actually attach into. So, And then basically after that is just putting in the cockpit windows and just the roof and the tail. And that's it. That will be finished the airplane. So... So let's get on to that right now. Okay, so if you come to the front of the plane, we're going to do the cockpit section. So right here, you can just fill this in. Thi the you're going to put a black block here, or whatever color you want. You can even use like gray or so. So you're going to go one, two, three, and four. And then you're just going to fill all this part up. So this will be your cockpit here. And then, then with your white wool, you're going to go one, two, one, two. You're going to put a slab in here. This is to get into the cockpit. And then you're going to start building up your little walls here. And then you're going to skip one right here. You're going to have your door. And then you're going to grab some glass, which I got rid of that earlier. And what, did I, what don't I need anymore? We don't need cobblestone wall anymore. So you're going to skip one. You're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you should have seven windows on this plane, and if I just go to my other one, I just want to double check. It's always good. It's always good to double check what you do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Yeah. So seven windows on each side of the plane. One, two, three, four. Oops. Four, five, six, and se seven. Now there is no door on this side. You could place a door if you wanted to. Or you can also place an extra window on this side as well if you wanted to do that. So I'm not going to. Uh, this would most likely probably be for a lavatory anyway. So I wouldn't place a window. But you can place a window here if you really want to. Or you can even place another door. And if I stop deleting these part, the blocks I actually need there. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not going to fill that in. So now you're just going to grab your glass. And you're going to put your glass going all the way down. Just like this. So this is what it should look like. So now what we'll do is we'll uh, put in the engines. And the engines are really easy. You are just going to come, r you're going to skip one. One, two, three. And then you're going to go one, two, three. And then four, five. And then you're going to grab your iron blocks and go one, two. And then you're just going to make a tube, basically. So you're going to just do this. This is going to come all the way back, and then you're just going to have two. And I believe that there, yeah, there is an extra one right here. Grab a button. I'm going to put a button at the end of this. And then you're going to place a iron bar here. You're also going to place a coal block. And then you're going to place one, two, three, four blocks of iron. You're going to basically fill this all in. So this actually makes up your actual jet engine. And then you're just going to cover it up like that and this should actually be iron one two so th and this should also be iron as well one two like that and then you're going to grab your stairs and you're just going to place your stairs going on top of each of these like well underneath and on top like basically just to make it look more rounded don't put any uh, where the iron is so that's what it should look like so you have your uh, engine on the side and we'll just do the same thing on the other side as well. So you're going to go, you're going to skip this one. You're going to go one, two, three. And then one, two, three, four, and five. So it basically just comes out on each side. And then you're going to place a one here, and a one here, and a one like that. And then you're going to go one, two. And then you're going to place a uh, block here. Put a button on it. And then you're just going to trace where you have your white area. 
and then you're just going to put two blocks of iron on each of the sides like that and actually if you fill up the actual engine itself you're going to put a uh, an iron bar here block of coal and then you're just going to connect this with iron and then connect it like that and then just put stairs to round them out And there you go, there is your engines. Now another thing you could also do, if you take away just the first part of these, you can actually put iron too, if you wanted to make it look more realistic. Because a lot of planes with their jet engines, they have a silver thing going around the, uh, the cowling of the engine. So you could do that, but I'm going to just make it look exactly how I have it here. So... But yeah, you could do whatever you want with this. But uh, there's your engines. So now it's just the cock. We'll put in the cockpit windows, and we're actually almost done the plane. Okay, so now for the cockpit windows, you're gonna come right to the front, and you're gonna go one, two, three. You're gonna place a one, and then a one, two on the side of that. So yeah, just a one and a one, two. Then you grab your white wool blocks. This is going to come all the way down until it's two, a two block overhang. So one, one, two. And then you're just going to have one. So one, one, and then one. And that will cover it up. And then you're going to do the same thing for the other side. So one, two, and then one, and a one. So there we go. That it was a very easy, easy part. So now we're just going to put the roof on the plane. Okay, so to put the roof on the plane, it is very easy to do. You're just going to have slabs going all across the top. This is going to go all the way down until it's, uh, but you're going to leave one short right here. And then you're going to have a slab here and a slab there. And you do the same thing for the other side. So you're just going to drag your slabs going all the way down until it's one short. So right here. And then he's going to have a slab coming in and a slab coming in. And then all you're just going to do is grab your blocks and fill all this in. Now if you wanted more space, like more height in the interior, you can also place all slabs going like this as well. So you do get that extra little bit of height. So, But I use the blocks, but that is another option. And you can build this... Uh, this part here for your cockpit walls. But yeah, you're just going to fill all this in and also, actually no, don't uh, put this in, you won't be able to get in. So you're just going to fill this all up. And if I just grab the middle one, this goes all the way down and it connects right on the back of this. So for these, for the interior, I'm just going to do a little bit of interior detail. Uh, right here, you're just going to fill Actually, I would fill in from where your slabs are here, and you're just going to put in a wall right here. So this is pretty much the kind of one of the rear bulkheads in the plane. This would all be used for control systems, but you don't see this part on the plane anyway. So, And then you would probably have like another area here. This would be for your galley, lavatory, and everything. And this is your cabin. So I'll discuss more about the interior in the end. And of course, there's a lot of pictures online of it. But uh, fill up all this roof. And then we'll just put the tail on, and then the final little bits of details. Oh, actually, I did miss one thing. On the front right here, you're going to have slabs going in just like this on the front. There we go. I almost forgot about those when I was uh, doing that layer. I was going to put them on at the end, but I ended up forgetting about it. But anyways, fill in the rest of the roof. We'll put in the tail, final details, and then that's the plane done. Okay, so with your roof filled in, that basically finishes the fuselage of the aircraft. So now, if you come to the back, we are going to finish up with the rudder and the little tail wings on the top. So you're going to come right to the back here. You're going to leave, you're going to skip one. And this is going to go up by two, and then one, two, three. And then you're just going to have a slab on top of here and underneath right here. Then, counting this block, you're going to go eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're going to have a button at the end of this. And then you're just going to make a step pattern. So you're going to leave actually two blocks here. And then the rest of it is just going to be a step pattern going all the way up until you reach up to here. So you should have one, two, three, four at the top. 
and then you're going to place three slabs, actually four slabs, because then you're going to have stairs just coming like that. So now we'll finish up by putting in the uh, uh, ailerons for the T-tail, and we'll be finished. And then it's just a, actually just for some little bits of details right now, while we're here, just grab your end rods and actually no we'll put them in it after because i have to count exactly how far apart they are from each other so we'll do the end rods at the end they're very easy to do but it's just finding the placement so we'll just do the tail wings and then we'll do those little details and that'll be it okay so for the t-tail you are going to come right to the back on the upper part of the block you're gonna have one two three and four and then you're gonna skip one like from here you're gonna go one two three four and you're gonna have six sets of four so one two three four one two three four one two three four so one two three four five and then one more six and then you're just gonna have a three and then a two and then we'll do the same thing for the other side one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four so that's one two three four and then five and six and then you have a three and then a two and if I just go to this one I just want to make sure that I have it right one two three four five oh it's actually okay it's actually five sets of six so get rid of this and then you're gonna have your three here so one two three four Hold on, I gotta count this. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And then you got a three and then a two. So same thing for this side. You're gonna eliminate one of these fours. And then one, two, three, one, two. And there you go. There is your T tail on the plane, and that basically finishes it. So we'll just put this little final these two little antennas in, and that will finish the build. Okay, so for the antenna placements, we're going to do the front one first. You're going to come right to the front of the plane. You're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth one, you're going to place one here. You're going to come to the back and you go one, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth one, you're going to put that there. And that basically finishes the plane. Okay, guys, that finishes this tutorial on the Bomber DH604 Challenger. Now, because there is no interior, there's really not much to show, and I kind of already showed bits of the interior at the beginning. I probably will be making a part two to this whenever I get around to doing the interior, so I'll show you, or at least an interior tour of it when I get around to doing it. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It will really help. Subscribe, and if you have any build requests, please let me know down in the comments and I and I will be sure to bring you those types of builds that you want to see. But anyways, I'll see you guys on the next one later.